everyone. I'm back with another video and in today's video we have a Dell Latitude 3380 and the regulatory model for this one is the T80G001. That information can be found on the bottom sticker on the bottom of the laptop or inside the BIOS or on the box. In this video I'm going to go on over how you can open it up and how you can clean and repay the fan and the heatsink. And you should do your own servicing every couple of years at least. I would recommend you once a year. It's like having a car and you want to do a regular oil change. I would recommend you, depending if you're using five to six hours daily, then you do it once every 12 months or every year. And I would say every year you open it, first year open it up, and if you think the thermal paste is really dried up and the dust is a lot, then you want to want to bring your schedule down and do it every eight months until you, you get to the right point. If you open it after one year and you're going to see the thermal paste is still pasty and the fan was still clean, you still need to do that uh, service and for the next one, do it every couple of year and a half until you find the correct um, time for your laptop. There's no exactly date for it because everybody uses their own, depending on their environment, it's dirty, it's dusty, or if you're using it for a heavy load. What kind of use you give into your laptop? This is not a benchmark. This is just a simple opening, cleaning, and repaste. This should be done to the laptop. All right. So I'm going to go over the tools and everything that I use for this service, and I'll leave everything, all the tools in the video description in case you want to purchase yours. Tool number one is an iFixit screwdriver set, which are one of the best screwdrivers out there. From this tool set, we're going to be using a Phillips number one. If you get a pro set, they will include you with an opening tools and some tweezers. If not, grab yourself a guitar pick. And metallic guitar picks are really suitable to opening cases and covers. You need a curved tweezers or straight tweezers. And you need a workshop towel. I recommend you a workshop towel. Don't use any microfiber towels or anything like that. The reason is because the, for the next product will be an alcohol. Isopropolic or isopropolic 98% or 99% plus. Don't use anything uh, lower than 98. I would say 95 you can maybe, but to be on a safe side, always go with a purest one, isopropolic or isopropolic alcohol. And the reason for the towel is as soon as you put alcohol on it and you want to wipe over the components, the towel will get ripped apart and it will not damage the components. Unlike a microfiber towel that you can Try to clean it and you can rip the capacitors and you can damage the motherboard. So I highly recommend these two. And the important one is a thermal paste. I recommend you with an Arctic MX4 or MX6, which is the new one. These are really good and suitable for these laptops. All right, and you need a used or new toothbrush to clean the fan system. So a soft, new or used toothbrush that we handy. All right, with all this on hand, we're gonna get it started. You want to power it off, flip it upside down, and you're going to see a whole bunch of screws. None of these screws will come out entirely. All you need to do is to rotate until you feel like it's loose enough. Once it's loose enough, you want to leave it in there. If you pull it really hard, it will come out, but then you have to push it really hard back in because they are not meant to be pulled out all the way. Okay? Do this for all the screws. So remove, not remove, loosen up all the screws. Even including the mid back and the corners. Also, if you guys like my videos, if you find my videos helpful and helping you guys out, you can support the channel by clicking the like and subscribe. I greatly appreciate it. It helps and motivates me to make more videos, take requests, and answer your questions in the comment area. All right, now that we remove those, you want to grab the opening tool and you want to start from one corner. You want to stick the icky topic in there and you want to twist it like this. You want to twist it. Go to the corner to the other corner. Now that we have both corners loosened up, what you want to do, you want to put it down, put your fingers on the hinge, thumbnail, and pull this cover upward. And that's how you can remove the bottom case. You can use a toothbrush to clean this dust mesh and blow some air through here. And down here we can see the fan, the heat sink, and the battery. First thing first, you want to disconnect the battery. To disconnect the battery, you want to pull this jack back. It's straight towards the battery. All right. Next, you want to remove the, let's say for instance, you want to just clean up the fan, you can just do that. First, 
You want to put your tweezers beside this jack right in there, and you want to push it toward the back. That way you can disconnect it, and you don't need to pull the cables. They're flimsy, and you can damage the cable. Just grab it from the side of the jack and push it backward. Rem untangle this cable by the fan. Remove two screws on the fan. One right there and one right by the cables. And now you can lift up the fan, bring it up, and you can take it outside. It is really clogged up a little bit. And take it outside, clean up with a toothbrush, and blow some air. And down here you can see it is kind of dirty. There's a lot of dust particles in there. All right. To remove this heat sink, you want to remove four screws on the heat sink. The screws have a little seal lock, so they will not come out. You just have to loosen them up. Once they're loosened up, all you want to do, grab it by the neck here. Don't grab it from here. And then you want to bring it up. And there we go. And that's how you remove the heat sink. There's a little thermal pads in here. Somebody in their mind, they put a thermal paste over the pad. You don't want to put them up paste over the pad. These are a 0.5 millimeter thermal pads. You want to put an alcohol on the towel and you want to swipe over the CPU. If you want to replace these thermal pads, you can do it. It's not too important because this chip is called a PCS chip, which is combined beside the CPU to save money and to make the connection a little faster. This one doesn't get too hot. The CPU is right in here, which touches right here. So I'm going to take it outside and clean up the, you know, with a toothbrush, the fan system, the heat sink and the fan, and I'll be back. Now that I clean it up, what you want to do, you want to put one drop on this main die. You don't need to put anything on the other one, just on this one. The thermal pie is going to do the job for the next. And then you want to grab the heat sink. Align it, make sure the screw holds. Once you put it down, don't lift it up. And you want to cross the screw the screws right on the heat sink. That way the thermal, pad, thermal paste will spread evenly over the CPU. Right. Once you put that one in there, what you want to put the fan right in there and put the two screws for the fan. Put the screws in. You want to slide the connector for the fan inside the jack. Connect the connector for the battery. Make sure you push it evenly inside the jack and pinch it right in there. And put the cable right beside the fan here for the Wi-Fi. Once you're done with this, all you want to do is just grab the bottom cover, put it right on top. You squeeze the corner, the back, all of them in. And you just tighten up the screws right on the bottom case. And again, I hope this video helped you guys to do your own service for your Dell Latitude 3380 model. If you have any questions or requests, feel free to leave them in a video comment or try to answer them as soon as I can. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Just going to finish up putting up the bottom screws.